Hey guys, you're watching Zuana Naoli. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Where we're back at the airport. It seems like ages since I was doing the interior, but then it doesn't seem like that long ago we were here. It's really weird. I burnt my mouth on my food last night. I had lovely burgers and chips. They were beautiful. But I was a little bit too eager, and I put the first chip in my mouth, and it was too hot, and I've burnt my tongue. And I've burnt the roof of my mouth, and it actually really still hurts, even though it's like 16 hours later, it's obviously the next day now, and it hurt all night, and it's hurt all today. So if I make a little bit of a fumble with my tongue, it's because it doesn't really feel like my tongue is there right now. It feels like my tongue is like this big. <laughs> so that could be what it is. First things first, I have moved the uh, escalator back one block. A few of you guys correctly pointed out that it was one block too far back. So I have sorted that. I think I fixed it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all fixed now. Everything's all in line. I would really like to get this finished today. Um... I might do the shop interiors at um, this episode. I don't know. I might do them off camera. I really dislike doing uh, shop interiors, though. Why? Because there just isn't enough in Minecraft to make good interiors. There just isn't enough. Even, I don't have any interior-specific mods on this world, um, which is sort of um, maybe part of it. But in vanilla Minecraft itself, there just isn't enough stuff. There isn't enough smaller stuff in Minecraft to allow you to make a decent looking interior. And I don't really know why, because the potential is so high. There's so much you could potentially do with it, but nope, it just doesn't, just doesn't want to. Uh, you've got mob heads, you've got food. But none of them can really be placed, only mob heads can be placed down. It, it's quite frustrating, really. I wish that they could do more about it. I like these ones or the black ones. I think the black ones could look cool. Just as like a little small waiting area down here. We've sort of got a little bit of room. I might even do it a little bit further up in this area. We've sort of got a little bit of an area for us. A, a somewhat small waiting room or waiting area. Uh, if I move those back one more block like that. Then you still got the walkway around there. I can get some nice tables in. We can get another one in for five. One, two, three, four, five. It's not quite centered, but I'm actually happy with that. I think it just looks looks pretty neat. Fills up the area quite nicely. I might take that one away, in fact. If that's the only one there, then we might not really need it. And maybe a little table in front, even if it's just a slab one. Slab. Uh... Yeah, I think I like this one the best. It doesn't stand out that much, but it does blend into other stuff around the area. Uh, I want to move it back by one block. There. Just so you can put your lap... I know a lot of people take the laptops to uh, airports while they're waiting. They'll do their laptop business emails and stuff like that. So that's a really good place to that. Somewhere to put your cup of uh, coffee down. It's always important, isn't it? Can I put some... I can put something in the middle and it doesn't ruin the arms. I might get like a normal table to go in there then. Just like that. I might be not on that one though. I think I want a plant there. I think I want a plant there. Like if we grab the grass and we grab the trap door and we grab ourselves... I haven't got any leaves, so we'll use these leaves. I think that just... Oh. <laughs> Let me turn that down in my ear. That that scared me. <laughs> okay, I think that I think down here is pretty good. I think a nice carpet would really finish it off. It would take away the giant sort of grey mass that we have down there. What colour though? Carpet. I'm thinking more of a blue. Cyan, maybe cyan and blue. Maybe a little bit of white. We'll try just cyan and blue first. And uh, if we like it, we'll keep it. If we don't, then we'll add a little bit of white in there as well. So, a decent length rug sort of goes to full length of this sort of area. And then we do the other ones with blue. Oh, I like the colours. Oh, I like the colours a lot. Oops. That one... 
I don't think it needs any white. I think that looks really, really nice. See how what I mean by just it fills up that area. It no longer looks like uh, an empty space that's too thin to really put anything in. So by doing that, it actually makes it all look a lot more uh, full and a lot more complete. I think I want to do a similar thing around the bottom of the conveyor belt here. Um, I think I want to have something like... Ooh, no, I can't do that. Um, something like a, a black or a stone carpet or grey. Grey grey would work. Just around the outside and the inside. How come that should probably go all the way down, shouldn't it? I think that would look better. And then we have this running around the outside here. Makes it stand out a little bit more. And the same on the inside here. Uh, we need a, uh, uh, a, a departures screen. Uh, something that tells you when certain flights are going out, if they're delayed, uh, things like that. And I think, I think the only spot we've really got is there. But it's quite cool because you can sort of see it from anywhere in here, even from up above. You'll be able to see the screen. So that would work quite well. And I'm thinking black wool. And we put this in. We want a good size for this. I'm going to try and keep a block above it, but if it's not big enough... Then we can always make it bigger. And that goes to the very edge. I don't think that's going to be quite... Oops. Quite big enough. No, I think we're going to actually line it up with the uh, snow instead of with the uh, conveyor belt instead. So I'm going to make one more block here. That's three blocks in from the edge. That's three blocks in from the edge, and I think it needs just one more higher. That's a big enough screen now. And there is something that I think would be cool to do, but is a little bit risky, okay? Spray paint. What is it? Paint? Paint can or something, yeah. Now, this is from the real train mod. However, for those of you that don't watch the other series, we, did, we have used this uh, quite recently. Uh, but for those of you that haven't seen it, it basically allows you to paint onto blocks, like using the 16 by 16 pixels that each block is made out of. However, I don't really know about it too much. I don't know much about the real trains mod. I got the train working on the city, uh, going around on the on that sort of above uh, ground subway, or whatever you'd call it, uh, trainway. Um, but I think this paint can, I'm sure you'll be able to use different colours on it, but I haven't figured out how to use different colours yet. I'm sure it's just something with dye or maybe there's some sort of block that you need to put it in to mix it up. But I also don't know how to get rid of it if I do it wrong, which is what, is what makes it really quite risky. So, I was thinking about something like... Do, do, do. I don't know how big I want it. Let's do it five by seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just got to be really careful. D. U. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Do. Come on now. Steady hand. Steady hand. If you get this wrong, then you ruin the entire look of it. B. <laughs> okay, I've done one wrong. <laughs> I knew I would. I, I knew I would. Oh, there's another one wrong. Oh, we've ruined it now. There must be a way to be able to remove those pixels. I just don't know how. I just have absolutely no idea. I've tried all sorts of stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Dubai. So you get the like uh, the the country it's flying like from the country it's flying to in the middle, and then either like C for cancelled, D or for delayed, um, A for arrived, uh, things like that. So yeah, I could do that off camera, but I think that would look really cool, don't you? Don't you think that would look cool? I think that would look amazing. At the top here, I want more of these seats. And maybe the tables as well. Oh, I already had them on my hotbar. Uh, but I want, like, more more privatized seats. So I think I'm going to do it... Like, oops. 
like that. So just every two. So you're a little bit. What's going on? So you're a little bit more on your own. Oh, and it works out perfectly as well. Oops. Like that. And I think I could put these back to back. Oh, that looks so neat, doesn't it? These would actually work very well as um, airplane seats if you were building your own airplane. Uh, these would look pretty cool, wouldn't they? They'd be perfect for airplane seats. Give it back to me. Okay, I don't think I want the tables, so I think that just looks pretty nice like that. It would be nice to have something down there, maybe a longer table, like an actual proper table instead of the slab tables. What's that? A portable UAV a controller. I've already got one of you. Make sure all of the uh, uh, grain goes the same way. If you get it wrong, it doesn't quite look as good. Okay. That looks nice and neat up here. Again, I might go with one of these rugs up here. You can never have too many of them. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Uh, maybe just through the down the middle here. Maybe two of them. Two of them would be good. We can have one like this, and uh, I wanted to end one block before, and the same over here. Oops. And one block before. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It looks so much better already. I really, really like that. Uh, we need to have this area in here filled with the, uh, what is black wool, but it's technically birch. So we shall grab ourselves... Uh, where did I get the cyan from? Wand. <laughs> on the white, isn't it? Yeah, on the white. From there, that here. This is the, uh, like, tunnel that you get onto the planes from. Uh, replace air with wool. Black. Yeah, and this area can be blank. There's nothing ever in this area. I mean, I could have some shelves, maybe, just on the wall. Black ones. I do one, two, three, and I come to this side, and I do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, yeah, ah, it works out every time for me, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, just gives us a little something there, doesn't it, what about this level as well, I mean, what would you have on here, I don't really know, um, Bedding equipment, maybe, to go on the planes if you're having, like, an overnight one, uh, a long, a long trip. Yeah. I mean, it just, it just needs that up pretty nicely. Lights in here. I think this is just being lit purely from the sun through the windows at the moment. Beacon. And wall. And we've got a middle point i'll go two blocks in all the way down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm just gonna try it see if we get lucky again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm gonna leave i don't know four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we're not quite lucky if i add one here that's now 11. That one's now 11. Four blocks between. F five blocks between. Okay, I'll just have to add another one here. Now, does this look too low now? It does. Okay. We'll have to have it up on the top then. Boy, does that light it up a lot more though. I did not realise how dark it was in here. Okay, I can't have any cobblestone walls above it. It looked way too low. You're going to bash your head on it. So we've got like 11, 12, 11. That's a nice number. That I don't mind that too much. Oh, look at that. So much more. So much more nicer. I like this part as well. Like the tunnels going over. You can see the planes and everything. It's so cool, man. So cool. Okay. Uh, anything else down here? Oh, that's my beacon. Uh, anything else down here? We've got a load of chests here that need to be... Uh, these are suitcases. And these get taken down this way uh, to uh, the conveyor belt. Like, well, it would go through, I suppose, wouldn't it? We need a door, really, don't we? Um, uh, door. 
we want iron one yeah this one with the sensor and I can put these underneath if I want um, oops I got rid of the door didn't I I can put these underneath a block if I want but I don't think it really needs I, I sort of like having them oh I can't put those on there um, well I sort of like having uh, the player sensors above the door I think it I think it looks quite nice always remember to put one on the other side so that's where they go to now I said that I liked the idea of like kids and stuff being able to watch the airplanes come in and the helicopters but I just think that this is a, such a brilliant hallway tunnel for staff to get to these areas that the public really shouldn't so maybe maybe I should double that up put that on here if I double those, they do work properly. Amazing. And then have a wall at least, at least along here. Uh, even if it's just like a one-story hide wall, or, or maybe just a wall. A wall, yeah. Not necessarily a, a I'm talking about like a low wall, not a, not a high wall. So you can still see over. That still gives us the window that we want to be able to look out of. But it also stops them from getting in the way of like the trolley. The people delivering or sorting out all of the uh, luggage. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot actually. We we'll have trap door. And I think we're going to do a double trap door. I've never done a double trap door entrance before. But yeah that allows people to get in here. Then they can load the suitcases up onto a little trolley. They can push them down here, go through there, sort it all out, ready to come out of that door onto the plane. And then the opposite thing, it comes off the plane, they go through that door, they get put on the conveyor belt for the people to come and pick up. That's a cool idea. So let's get a, a carpet. I think a grey carpet, seeing as we've used grey up above, I think the grey carpet would look really good down here. Yeah, we've used some grey carpet in some other spots as well, so I think it'll work really well. Um, I don't think I want a trap door on that side. I think I just like the trap door on this side. So I'll have that all the way back to there. It ties up. It uses up that space nicely as well. And then I think wherever else we've got like little spots, we can just fill it up with some chairs. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, there's no areas big enough for us to fill properly. Uh, with stuff so if we could just fill up some stuff with some chairs uh, then that'll be great I don't want to get in the way of that if I have another one and another one so we've got two four wide sofas with two little tables there I don't want it there this is sort of a busy area something might go there I don't really know what ah 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 iron bars And we put, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to have one here and one like, I think, no, I'm going to have to move it over by one. I don't like it touching the wall. No, but then you're right in the way of the monitor. Okay, okay, okay. And... I think I like that. I think I really like that. So now we've got like a little bit of a uh, metal bars. They do have those in airports. I've seen. I've researched. So that works well. Uh, button. I just think this would be spruced up nicer uh, with a button on each side. Beautiful. A little bit of detail there. Uh, any other space? Oh, yeah. We've got some space around here for seats as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, Oops. one, two, and I think we're about full. I think I want some nice tall plants up here. Trap door and leaves. I don't want any more chairs in the corner here, so I'm going to go with three of them. Trap doors on all three sides. Oops. And then, ooh. 
I think maybe two shorter ones and one taller one in the corner there. I think it just looks nice, fills up that area, gives a little bit of green, doesn't it? Anything else? Can I put anything? Cobblestone walls, maybe? Just down. Oops. That one and that one. I think it just blends the uh, screen in a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. I like it. There's nothing big enough that I could put on here. Um... I, that we have no banners. It's not big enough for me to write anything. Uh, the interiors I can do off camera. They're only small interiors anyway. Look inside here. We've only got, what is it, like a five by six or seven area. Um, just like a little cafe. One little stall of shop, you know, or one little um, counter with a till on it. Some shelves on the wall. Um, we'll just have a go quickly. Stairs. I haven't got enough time to do both, but I might be able to do one of them. We had something like a little till, slab, stair, uh, white one. Oops. Where I is that my till one? What one was my till one? Oh, this one. There we go. I knew I had a specific like one that I used for tills. We'll have that there on the edge. I think I like it on the edge better. Carpet, uh, red. We'll have red and black as the theme in here. Shelves. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And I don't think I've got any space in the middle for anything. Uh, I'm going to lower this ceiling down in the inside. Because I think that's too high. It looks great from the outside. That's the floor, obviously, that we're um, uh, standing on above in that waiting area. But I think it's too high for a shop's uh, ceiling. Put that in. Um, beacons, not for light, because obviously there's light underneath the floor. But this is just for uh, decoration. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's dead in the middle. Uh, walls, because it looks a little bit weird on its own. Stair. That door's driving me nuts. Um, I think I sort of prefer either on its own or we maybe put another two like that. One on its own can look a little bit weird, can't it? Uh, if I move this over by one more block. Uh, slab. There's a reason for it, so I can get shelves behind. Like that. Shelf. Shell. that red carpet and some little red carpets down here i don't know what you do so i'm gonna put some white in there as well uh carpet i don't know what you'd um what what would be sold in here it like a cafe it actually looks more like a um uh electronics you know black and red very modern colors sell some mobile phones things like that item frame You'll be so perfect on where you, how you place these. Like that. Phone. I have some phones and some of these. Uh, what other gadgets are there? Uh, let me get it in there. So tough. There we go. What other gadgets do we have? We want uh, custom NPCs. Miscellaneous. Um, I, want, I want electronics, not musical instruments there's got to be just i just want one more thing i don't want it all mobile phones it'd be so good if we could just have something else electronic -y. anything anything at all weapons <laughs> not in a prison no no no, no, no. Some uh, smoke grenades. I'm sure smoke grenades will go well. Some guns. Vehicles. No. No. Sometimes you get like a really random thing just pop up in there and you think, oh yeah, that's, that'll do well. Uh, a clock. Minecraft clock. I think that's a terrible idea. 
Nope. I really can't think of anything like gadgety. Maybe you guys can. Maybe you guys can think of some stuff. This is it's exactly what I said at the beginning of the episode about how I don't like doing interiors to buildings. There just isn't enough stuff. There just isn't enough stuff. We can retexture some stuff that we're not going to use, like especially in potions, for example. Well, potions, I suppose you don't really want to. Like the dyes themselves, we could actually retexture into like an Xbox and a PlayStation or controllers just to look, to give us some stuff as an for, to do in interiors the only problem is that items can only be put in item frames they can't be placed down i want things that can be placed down like um flower pots things like that you know flower pots you can place down they're not that big they're smaller than a, a full block so they sort of fit well on a table but i want more stuff like that you know player heads yes they work but i want i don't know just cups i know you can use flower plots as cups but i want actual cups or glasses look around your room you'll see stuff you know uh cartons of milk little burger boxes things like that that's what i really want um we can use custom player heads to do that but it's still very limited uh it's still very limited anyway that is all i've got time for this episode uh, it looks like I'm on the phone at the minute. Uh, that's what I've got time for this episode. The interior, I'm going to say, is complete now for the um, airport. It looks really cool when you approach in. Before I started the episode, I actually approached in from this way. And now that you can see, like, an interior, it looks so cool as you walk through the door, right? Hey? It looks so cool. And on the other side, if we go around this side of the airport, it looks good when we come around this side. But if we're on, like, the airport side, we can look in and it's got an interior there as well. So that's really nice. I really like that. Uh, next episode, we might be do might be doing a park. I don't know. I haven't thought yet. I haven't thought too much about it. But a park is something that we're missing. Anyway, before this goes too long, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.